There are two of the biggest topics couples need to talk about when they're dating. Mm -hmm. Marriage. Uh, appetizers and what you want to drink. Marriage and kids, Ken. Oh, those are pretty big, too. We're going but deep. we're just dating. Yeah, well, you need to talk about it. Can we get chips and salsa first? <laughs> when should you bring it up? Should you bring it up with the salsa or should you wait until after the, until the, until the dessert? Seriously. Professional matchmaker Hope is here. From, it's just lunch. I mean, All right. Good luck with this today, Hope. Yeah, thank you. Okay, <clears throat> so it's really going to depend on the couple <laughs> yeah. and the priorities for each person in the couple. So how important marriage and kids are to each individual. Okay. is going to come into play here. Okay. First off the bat, I'm going to say, I'm going to go with you on the first date. She, she you should never knee. bring up having kids right. or getting married on a first date. Good right. chance you're going to you're gonna scare them. Uh, yeah, person you'll away. be eating the chips and salsa by yourself. Yeah. Right. Now, right. for a lot of people, they have very strong feelings about having kids it's, and getting married. It can be a deal breaker. Yeah. And so for these people, a lot of times they want to throw it out there because they don't want to waste their time. Exactly. Right. They don't want to form you know, a bond, start getting feelings mm -hmm. for someone and then not have a future there. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and totally understandable, but you need to get them to know them a little bit better before you're throwing it out there, right? So you're saying that even though to you it's extremely important and you right. just want to say, I don't want to go any further unless you're, you're thinking marriage and kids, mm -hmm. that person will receive it as scary psycho-y. <laughs> marriage and kids. As opposed to... Yeah, I was cool with those in the first place, but now I, I'm not even going to get to know you. It can scare them off. It okay. can come across as too, you know, too intense mm -hmm. for a first date. You know, I want to have kids next week, yeah. as opposed to I would love to have kids. Can we someday. get the food to go? <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So I have some tips of how to work it in to the conversation and the relationship as you're getting to know the person. Okay. okay. So first is don't assume. A lot of times, singles will go in with these assumptions. Oh, you know, they're 25. They've never been married. They don't have kids. So they must want this. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could be totally off. And on the flip side, hey, they're 45. They've never been married. They don't have any kids. They don't want it. Right. Y you could be way off track. Right. So go in with an open mind, knowing that you don't really know sure. until you have the conversation. So don't assume, but don't ask either? No, don't assume, but you're going to work your way into that conversation. Okay. And you want to use open-ended questions. Okay. Okay, so ease your way into the conversation. <laughs> so... Instead of saying, do you want to have babies with me, Kathy? Uh-huh. <laughs> you're going to say something. Maybe you're at the park where you see a, a cute family walking by. Oh. Look at that family. They're so cute. Someday I want to have a family. Okay. How, how do you feel about kids? Something like that that's more casual and yeah. the other person doesn't feel like they have to give you a definitive yes or no right. that really puts them on the spot. Okay, okay. Makes okay. Sense. All right. Then one more tip. Um, be honest. Be honest about how you feel both if you're the one that's bringing up the conversation or if you're being asked about it. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, especially if, you know, you like the person and they've made it clear that they do want to have kids and somebody else really doesn't, right. they may, hmm, can I change myself? Are they going to change my mind? If everybody's upfront about what they are feeling and looking for, yeah. then you know you're going to have better chances of, at having and you know, that, a good that conversation. And that really makes about sense it. because honesty is one of those building blocks that starts the relationship. Mm -hmm. So if you're both <laughs> there, then then you can work towards it. Exactly. Well, and you can't change someone. No. You you may change their mind because there's a lot of people that are on the fence about kids yeah. and children. As that a matchmaker, they that tell me. me that all the time. They'll often answer, it depends on the person that Amen. I find. Right. right. I have kids with the right person. So you don't want to scare them off too soon mm -hmm. that you're just looking to find someone to have kids with right away. You're looking for the right one. Okay. So, so everything that Hope says is absolutely honest and correct. And if you want to go deeper into it, then you got to join up with It's Just Lunch. It's yeah. just lunch mm -hmm. Because they really make sure, I mean, you, it's like this questionnaire you fill out and everything, and then you hook people up. You can find them at itsjustlunchdenver.com. Thank yes. you, Hope. Thanks, guys.